Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, what I thought I'd do in um, this, in, well, what I thought I'd do today is um, do a bit of a recap of how um, of how Comic Con went yesterday, and just sort of like my thoughts as well, as well as give you like a bit of a um, a bit of a haul of actually what I actually bought from um, Comic Con. So. Um, I'm in a spare room at the moment, I used to be in my filming type room where we do the live streams and stuff so um, I thought I would um, sort of update you folks and sort of tell you my thoughts on the whole like Hong Kong first and then I'll actually show you what I bought um, so yeah, that's so as you know yesterday or in my last video, um, today is Sunday as I'm filming this so I was at, I was at Comic Con yesterday um, I went to Comic Con Blackpool uh, which was in the Winter Gardens um, if you are new here um, basically, um, it was my fourth my fourth time attending um, Blackpool Comic Con um, yesterday. Um, nice round number, you know. I thought it was going to be like really like it's going to be like a bit, a bit of a good one um, because I've always been the three times that I went. I went twice last year and then I went earlier this year. Um, but the one the one earlier this year, um, <clears throat> I thought it was like a bit more. Um, a bit more like upbeat and there was like a few more quite a few more like people there um, whereas the one yesterday it felt I don't know what it took me a bit of a while to sort of process it and um, especially when I came out the Winter Gardens yesterday I had a bit of a walk around um, I, I think it was like a bit too much like sort of like going on uh, for me to like process uh, and then later in the evening yesterday yeah later in the evening yesterday whilst, whilst I was still in Blackpool because I didn't get home till after it it, it it got dark in Blackpool yesterday, uh, last night, so I didn't get back home till about 8 o'clock-ish. Um, but anyway, I came out of the Winter Gardens and I had time to process things, um, but it, I don't know, it, it felt, it was still it was still a really good, you know, a really good day with quite a few people that went, you know, live wrestling. There was music there to add, add to that atmosphere. Um, there was the Stranger Things music as well that was in the, in the Stranger Things um TV show, uh, TV series. If you don't know, Stranger uh, Stranger Things is, is one of my favourite, um, one of my favourite TV shows on Netflix. Um, there was the music, the live wrestling. There was a cinema upstairs as well, which I did. I did actually go and sit in for about half an hour just so I can charge my phone. Um, and then there was like vendors selling like all sorts of things, and I was having a walk around. Um, when I first got in there, um, I had a I had one lap. I went for a lap around to try a bit of a look, um, a bit of a look around to see what they were like selling and stuff. Um, I went to one of my favourite because um, I went there last year and the year before. Um, it's a, a vendor called Retro Retro Arcade. So a shout out to Retro Arcade um, for um, for being there because I just love buying their stuff and I actually bought a couple of things from them, a couple of prints and um, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but I was I had one lap round and then I went for a second lap round just to, so I can have a really good proper look, and I actually bought a few things. Um, originally I was just going to buy myself a couple of small things just to remind myself of, of the event and Comic Con this year. Um, well, Comic Con for October, um, but I actually bought quite a few things. Um, but I'm not that bothered because I think I got some like good things and I'm, I'm quite happy with. But I don't know. Um, it felt a little bit a little bit quieter um, than. The one earlier this year, because the one earlier this year, you know, we had the live band, we had the live wrestling, and um, we had a, a few new, um, you know, vendors and stuff, which there was there last uh, yesterday. A few new people selling stuff as well. Um, what else was there? There was the cosplay competition as well, um, which the cosplay masquerade, which you may have seen in the Comic Con vlog at the end. Um, that was good. There was quite a few cosplayers there. Um, there wasn't, um, you know, the the usual cosplay girls that went. Um, they weren't there at this time, um, but they were there in May. Um, but there was a few like, you know, a few of the girls like um, dressed up in like the Halloween costumes and stuff and like the um, the anime stuff. There was a couple of um, what's called. There was a couple of um, like lads, uh, two small. I think they were like what, must have been like nine or ten years old. They were dressed in the Five Nights at Freddy's um, Freddy um, from the security breach. They had the masks, they had the costumes. They were they were twins. They were both. They were, and they they passed me whilst I was watching the wrestling. Um, whilst I was just stood there, 
and I ju it, they just caught the corner of my eye was when I was stood watching the wrestling. And I thought, I looked at them and thought, is that Freddy from Five, Five Nights at Freddy's? And I was like, because they were wearing the masks. Um, they, but obviously they, they had the masks like up so they could they could see what where they were like walking and stuff. And I had to look at them twice, and they're like nine, ten years old. These these two little little kids, little boys, dressed as Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's um, security beast. They, they, uh, and then I, I asked um, a couple of people to well a few people to take photos of me in front of sets, which um, people are willing to take photos at you. That's why, that's what I love about Comic Con is like you you can you can go up to someone. Give them your phone, trust them with your phone, uh, which I, 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 I've asked quite a few people to take my photo yesterday. Um, I don't really, I don't really give people my phone because um, the way that I am and stuff um, with my autism and like sort of like anxiety and like worrying about people sort of running, up, running away with my phone and stuff. But not at this event, not at Comic Con. You give people your phone, they take a picture and then they just give it back, give it back to you. Um, so I asked a few people to take photos of me in front of sets, which will pop the photos on screen for you now, so you can see. Um, you may have already seen those in my other video. And then I asked these two girls to take a photo of me in front of a set, and this is where things got a little bit awkward. So basically I was in front of the Stranger Things set, which I will put on screen for you now. Um, again, Stranger Things is one of my favourite TV shows. On Netflix, um, I went up to the Stranger Things set, and there was these two girls, sort of dressed in like Halloween costumes. I think they, they were like sort of like goth type, like emo type girls. They were they were very shy, very awkward. Um, and I went up to them, and they were stood in front of the Stranger Things set, just talking and stuff. And I went up and said, "Excuse me, can you can you take a photo of me?" So I gave, um, you know, I gave one of the girls my phone, and it took it took like five minutes because um, I asked one of the girls. And they kept asking each other um, who was going to take the photo, and I was stood in front of them, like I was really cl up close to them, and like um, it was just me and the, the two girls, and um, I was stood in front of them, and um, I, I kept asking them, uh, you know, um, uh, who's who's going to take my photo, and I stood there for like a minute, and there was like, that minute was like a bit of an awkward silence because I just didn't know what to do, and then. Um, the, the girls kept on asking themselves who's going to take the photo. So eventually I gave the girl, one of the girls my phone and um, I think they misinterpreted what I was trying to say because um, one of the girls um, actually um, started, to, started to take a photo of themselves in front of the um, Stranger Things set for me. I was like, no, 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 um, can you take a photo of me? Um, but then um, they actually eventually take, took a photo of me. Bit of an awkward moment, but um, you know, I got I got there um, eventually with them. But um, they were they were so so nice, and everyone that I spoke to was so nice. Um, they, I spoke to a few of the vendors as vendors as well, you know, the people selling stuff. Um, but um, it, all in all, it, it just to sort of recap the whole the whole day. It was a good day. Um, I I I really enjoyed it. You know, it was quite a few quite a few people that went. And it felt the same. It felt it did feel the same like all the other times I've been, but it, it, the only thing that sort of put it off was that it was just a little, little bit like quiet, and they did things a little bit differently, like, like the cosplay masquerade. It was a little bit different, um, because they actually um, the masquerade at the end, which you may have seen, they they got everyone um, in like a bit of a line, um, and then this this woman, um, which was the Undertaker's assistant, uh, with, with the one that was carrying um, the, the she actually said to uh, she actually got the the cosplayers in a line and then we all turned to face them and then she obviously you know the the cosplayers showed what they were like sort of like cosplaying as uh, a couple of the, the cosplay was so so good this year it really was um I, I'll grab the photo from their Facebook and I'll pop it on screen for you now so you can see um but there were people dressed up as um Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy's characters there was two people that I saw. Just was Five Nights at Freddy's. I actually do have a few Five Nights at Freddy's things here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, all in all, it was a good day, um, but it seemed a little bit quieter, um, which is um, the one in October last year was a little bit quieter as well. Um, but, you know, all in all, it was just a really good day. Um, but I enjoyed it. I've got the photos and stuff to, to you know, to, to remind myself of it, and I've got the memories and stuff, so... Um, I will be. I'm thinking about going to the Manchester one because um, the Manchester one is a little bit bigger. Um, so it's an, it's a horror one in Manchester next month. Um, so I'm thinking about going to that one too. 
Um, but the Blackpool one will always be um, my personal favourite and look like. Hold a bit of an attachment. Okay, so let's get into this stuff, shall we? Um, we'll start with this bag first. Sorry, it's a bit crumpled up. Um, I did actually carry this around in, Bla in Blackpool yesterday. Um, the weather in Blackpool yesterday, we, it was just horrific. It was horrendous. It was raining. Uh, when I got there, it was, it was like really windy and cold and I had to shelter myself um, at the back of the projection unit at, yeah, on the Tower Headland, which you folks may have already seen in my Comic-Con vlog. I just shot myself there um, just to protect myself from the wind. Um, but this bag did get a little bit wet, but it, it didn't snap or anything. Um, but I did retreat into the shopping centre so, so I can pop this inside my bag. Um, inside my shoulder bag that I had on. Um, so yeah, let's get in. Okay, I'm going to try and wash this up because I want a sort of chill chill today. Um, so um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take it all out of the bag. Um, and then show you. So um, the first thing that I actually... Um, bought and I actually went to the store first because I knew they were going to be tra trading at the Comic Con um, this year. Um, I've got a couple of um, I have a couple of things as well like people that people gave me so I've got um, I've got stuff like this that people gave me um, and I was talking to this person because I actually to the, 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 the gizmo patch that I was wearing this person actually commented uh, commented on it and just seeing how how good I put it on. Um, I, I, I said to him, um, I said to him, it took me a while to put it on because it did actually take me a while to put on. But um, yeah, the first store I actually went to yesterday was um, the what was it? The retro retro arcade because I knew they were going to be um, trading and I, th I, I follow them on Facebook because I follow them on Facebook and uh, they posted that they're going to be trading at Comic Con this year. So um, again for October because they were there October last year um, but this basically is a Five Nights at Freddy's um, print this is Freddy by the way I might put it on my desk somewhere um, I do need to find somewhere to pop it on my desk because uh, yeah, he, he looks really good you can see sort of like how he's torn up um, the new Five Nights at Freddy's film is going to be out at the cinema uh, end of this month so Halloween but I'm thinking about um, just watching it, at, watching it at, at home because um, I've got a movie app and stuff that I watch all my films and stuff on. So I'm thinking about um, watching that on there. Um, but I saw, I saw Freddy. They had everything. They had T-shirts, prints, stickers, um, you name it. They basically had it. Um, they, they created the the vendors and stuff. They, they mostly created all this stuff themselves. So all these prints and stuff that you see in this video. These, this is what people have made themselves, and um, which I thought was really, really good. But yeah, that was the uh, that was the first sort of print and thing that I actually went to and actually bought first yesterday. Um, it does have the little stand on the back, so I can actually stand up on, on my desk somewhere. Um, but I need to find somewhere to put that on my desk. So that was the the first thing that I got that I bought. Um, what's in there? There's the coaster. Um, so the second thing that I bought was, um, <coughs> excuse me, another, I've actually still got the um, thing on my hand here from yesterday. Um, basically it's a Five Nights at Freddy's um, collectible. Now I did buy a few of these from Asda, uh, I think it was a, a month or so ago. Um, but it's basically a bit of a um, mystery sort of like collectible thing. And then um, it shows you all on the, on the back there what... Um, sort of like all the ones that you can collect I'm hoping that I get um, a good one in this because they're all like um, they're all horror horror type things so um, I've not actually opened it yet I'm going to open it once I've done this video so. um, and then the um, next two things that are okay and then I saw this stall that was selling a lot of coasters and um, backpacks and stuff again all handmade um, and they were selling bottles and everything else there as well. Um, a lot of like horror coasters. I actually bought um, a coaster last year, last October when I went to Horrorcon. Um, and that was the Gizmo one. And then I bought a Stranger Things one as well that I've not used yet. And um, one... What's the other one? I think it's another Gizmo one. I think I'm on my bedside table. But I saw this uh, Five Nights at Freddy's one. So I thought I'd get that one. Because um, it's, I like Five Nights at Freddy's, and I watch Twitch. If you don't know what Twitch is, it's basically 
where streamers play games and they watch a lot of um, sometimes watch a lot of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's gameplay uh, on Twitch because it's one of my sort of like favourite sort of like games now. Um, I just love um, like the whole like story behind Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff. And have you ever watched? Um, do you know Willy's Wonderland? Uh, I've watched that like four times. It's just so so good. It's about evil animatronics and um, that come alive and kill people. Um, I just love love films like that. So um, yeah, I got, and then I got another another coaster. <laughs> Predictably, I've got like five coasters from Comic Con now, which are, they gave me in this little uh, trick or treat bag. Um, this is one of the vendors I actually spoke to about um, Comic Con in Manchester next month. Um, he said that he's fully booked up with Comic Cons coming up now. So and he he, he had his two daughters there with him. Um, he was selling. Dolls that have been turned into like evil monsters and stuff like that. He's, he's all he, crea he created them all himself, um, and I was talking to him about creativity and stuff like that. And he just says that you know, being creative is the best way of going forward, which I think um, is is he, he was correct on that because I'm really creative myself, um, as you know with my videos and stuff. So um, I saw this um, stuck in the upside down Stranger Things coaster, and I thought I'd get it. This was five pound, and that was five pound. No, that was the other one was two pound fifty. This one was five pound um, as well. The um, the print was five pound as well, and the 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 um, the patch and the sticker was the patch was a pound, and the sticker was thirty p. Uh, but this was five pound, um, which I think was good. I might put this on my desk actually, um, and, and get rid of the other one. Um, I think that one will look nice on my desk. So, um, let's put that back in there. If it will go in. That's back in. So, this is the last thing that I bought yesterday. Um, for, again, from Retro Arcade. Um, I saw this uh, the first lap I went round. Um, and when I went round, like, when I went, went round again, just before I left the Winter Garden yesterday, they actually didn't have this in, and they, I asked the woman that was at the uh, at the at the stand yesterday if they had another horror horror Pikachu in yesterday, and she said yes, they did. The only thing that they didn't do is they just they just taped the photo under the back. So I've got some black card, so I'm gonna measure it up and pop some black card over it just so it's a little bit more sturdy. But this is the horror Pikachu that I got yesterday. Doesn't that look so so good? It looks so so good that I love it, um, but yeah, this was uh, five pound. Um, I don't. I literally I buy stuff and I just don't know where to put it. I don't know if you folks are the same, um, but um, yeah, this is basically it's just so so good. I saw this and I was flicking through because there was quite a few. Um, what's it called? Uh, there was what is it? Um, steampunk uh, animals and stuff and cars and horror and you know. TV shows and stuff like this. Um, I saw this one and um, I actually had, had to ask her. Um, it's a proper photo as well. It's on it's on proper proper glossy glossy paper. Um, but um, I had to ask her if she had one and they did. And they actually made this up for me uh, whilst I, whilst I waited. Um, they actually made this up for me. Popped it on the frame and all I need to do now is put my black back on it. It isn't it isn't plastic, so I might keep it in the plastic and pop it on my wall. Because I, I bought a Harry Potter one um, from Comic Con last year, um, and that's still in, in its plastic. So I just don't know where I'm going to put this yet. I, I'll find a place though. I will, I will find. A place. And that is just about everything that I got from Comic Con yesterday. So um, yeah, as I said, um, it didn't really feel like there was many people that went yesterday. Um, <coughs> it was still a good atmosphere though, you know, with the Undertaker, the music, and um, everything, everything like that. So it, it's still, you know. Still a pretty good atmosphere uh, in there yesterday, um, with you know there was quite a few people that actually went, um, but I don't think there's anything else to update, update you folks on. Um, other than that, I just had a good day. Um, I came home from Blackpool quite late yesterday as well, um, and as soon as I got back home, I was just I was hit with a bit of sadness because um, they just leave it so long, like in between Comic Cons and stuff, and I just. Um, I love events, I love just going to events like that, um, but it's not over yet, it's not over for me like in Blackpool because there's still like a few more events and stuff we've got, um, by the time this this vlog goes up um, it's going to be Lightpool Festival this weekend which I, I will be at, um, there's stuff going on inside the Winter Gardens, there's Lightpool, 
there's like light installations inside the winter gardens and around town so i will i will be filming that it'll be a bit of a nighttime one so hopefully my phone sort of copes well in nighttime conditions um because my phone sometimes struggles um and then we have um the the fireworks as well the finale of the fireworks and then we have at the end of the year christmas by the sea which i will be filming um but yeah i am thinking about going to the manchester comic con um because it just i don't know it's just every time i come home from these comic cons i just get I get a bit sad because i've just had such a good day and seeing everyone there even today i feel i feel i still feel like a bit a little bit sad um, now that it's like finished and over with because ever since it was announced i've just been looking forward to it for like what for like a month or so and now that it's done i just don't know what to do with myself so um i'll be all right though because i've got other events in blackpool this year for the rest of the year like like i said light bill festival which i will be vlogging but then christmas by the sea as well um, at the end of the year so I expect a couple of vlogs from them um, from there and obviously the one from light bill festival so um that concludes my haul and my bit of a Comic-Con recap of October, of Comic-Con October 2023. If you like this video, give it a like for me. I'm going to get off now and start to edit the um, the Comic-Con vlog. I've not started editing it yet. I've, I've, I've literally only done the thumbnail, that's, that's it. But if you like this video, give it a like for me. Let me know what you thought of in the comments below. I am going to cut myself off now and get this open because I'm just so, so desperate to see which one I want, to, uh, which one I get. I need to find a place to put that print on somewhere on my desk as well, which I'll most likely find. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get off now. Thank you so, so much for watching and I shall see you folks in my next video, which will be the Lightpool Festival vlog from Blackpool.